Can your pet give you COVID? Researchers are spending a lot of time learning about the roles animals play in spreading viruses. Our investigative reporter Candace Wynn has a new insight. Last year, we told you many scientists believe COVID-19 could have started on a bat, jumped onto a pangolin or another wild animal, and then spread to humans. But what about the animals in your home? Can they spread it the same way? We investigate. They're cute, they're snuggly, and they've given us much needed company during the pandemic. But can your pet get infected and spread COVID-19? To find out, we visited UC Davis Veterinary Medicine Teaching Hospital. Here, 125 vets treat more than 60,000 animals each year. Everything from dogs to horses, even fish. We do know now that dogs and cats can be infected with SARS coronavirus too. Hey, Bevo. Dr. Jane Sykes tracks animals infected with COVID, like the ones on this USDA chart. Data through mid-July shows 217 cases in the U.S. so far. More than 40% of those were cats. Researchers believe that's because cats have closer contact with humans compared to other pets. They often are very close to people's faces when they're sleeping in beds with people. So you're saying because cats are more snuggly a snuggly, lot of times. Snuggly, yes, a lot of times, yeah. While Scottish researchers euthanized one cat because it got so sick from COVID, recent studies show the vast majority of infected cats and dogs exhibit mild symptoms or none at all. The important point is, is that the infection is spreading from people to the animals, not animals back to people. Unless they're wild animals. Last year, we first told you about Chinese researchers identifying early strains of COVID-19 in wild bats and pangolins that they believe mutated and spread to humans. When the virus gets into wild populations, researchers say it's impossible to control. As the infection spreads, the virus mutates, forming new variants which can spill back to humans. But when house pets catch the virus, the infection is more isolated and the virus has very limited chances to create mutations that pose a threat to people. There's not a lot of reason to be vaccinating dogs and cats because it's pretty clear that they're not important in spreading the infection back to people. But since viruses mutate quickly, a new variant, whether it comes from animals or people, can change everything. The Delta variant, how is that changing the research right now as we speak? I think the concern would be is what if a variant arises that is a lot more infectious for people's companion animals um, and then could be transmitted back to people. Right now, there's no evidence the Delta variant can infect pets and then spill back to humans. But Dr. Sykes says it is crucial scientists continue to keep a close eye on any variant and its potential impact on all of us. Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.